sorry about that. Let's go talk to more people, since they are new people. A lot of new people around here in the home world of Goldo. Nothing beats beholding the spectacle of the sea. How magnificent you are, O oh, Sea of El Nido. He's trying to be like poet or writer, something like Hemingway or like that. Is it just me, or is the water effects like on top of the ladder there? We're gonna pretend like that works properly. The beauty that is nature in the sea, the inherited lores of the dragon god, how inspiring. But such a world will someday be washed away by the waves of time to disappear forever. You know, you were uplifting me that first half, but then the second half just, oh, and everything that that you do means nothing. Thanks, you're giving me space dementia, and I'm not even in space. Thanks for that. Let's just get, go into the bar. Surely nobody will depress me in here. Say, have you heard? An ancient Dragonian artifact called the Dragon Tear is enshrined somewhere in this village. This village, you say? anything good to say far east from here there's an area called the dead sea that's covered by thick clouds all year long the strange thing about it is that there's no way in poisonous coral surrounds the whole area we've been told coral i don't think we've been told poisonous coral before that would probably explain it even more and we, we're not going to go there like we can't do a big ship because coral will tear that apart and then we can't do a small ship because we can't touch it it's poisonous you look familiar. It's Orcha. Yo, it's a mighty small shop, but ain't it a great place to kick back? Sure. You know, you had a better job in, in another world. You still got the walk on your back, and you say the same thing when I talk to you back here. Looks like he's trying to be like a Ninja Turtle with that walk on his back. You know, the Ninja Turtles didn't cook. They just ordered pizza all the time. They were very healthy, those, those Ninja Turtles. Probably what turned them into mutants by the time they hit teenagers. Well, either way, we can find a shop here. I don't know if you can read that. It does say shop in a kind of weird way. Uh, this is actually the most important shop here. Can I talk to the kitty? I want to talk to the kitty. Kitty, there we go. There you go. Hey, you're wearing a nurse's outfit. Let's talk to you. To get really close to her. We're not stocked well compared to the city, but we have some rare elements you might find interesting. Indeed, I will. Let me browse. We're going to have access to some elements here that we have not had access to before. They're good. Uh, tablets, capsules, not that big of a deal. Nostrums, kind of a big deal. They're consumable. They restore HP large. I believe this is the first time we have access to a large healing item. I believe most of the other stuff we have is medium, including Cure Plus. Uh, but Nostrums are a way to uh, heal a large amount of HP. As a result, I'm going to buy some. Uh, yeah, 10. 10's good. I'm not going to allocate them. I don't like them in battle. Uh, but I do like having them kind of as emergency healing items should I need them. Uh, Panacea, we have seen before, removes all status effects. That's always nice. Uh, Purify does the same thing, and therefore I like it better than Panacea's. Uh, we're going to get uh, no, uh, three of them. I have a ton of money. I don't know why I have so much money compared to what I actually need, uh, but we're going to spend it. I have had the Profiteer purse on this whole time, but it doesn't increase it by that much. We have like 10 times what I need. Uh, so we're gonna get three purifies. They are awesome. I mean, they're they're essentially an Asuna uh, in Final Fantasy lore. They will heal all status effects. Well, except for like death and stuff like that, but uh, it, it'll heal everything that we'll encounter in a battle and, and it'll be good. So I'm gonna get three of them. I'll buy one more recover all. And then here we can see 99. Now 99 is the reason that I feel that Eagle Eye is overpowered because 99 does something very similar. So let's pay attention to all the details about 99. 99, level six, plus or minus two. Uh, remember the Eagle Eye is four plus or minus four. So I can put it on level one. 99, the lowest level I can put it on is four. It hits a single ally, which is the same as Eagle Eye, 
but you can only equip 99 if your innate color is red. 99 is red, so that kind of makes sense, but also makes it a lot more difficult to use. Uh, this will temporarily keep your hit percentage of basic attacks at 99%. Granted, Eagle Eye will not always put your attacks at 99%. We saw a couple times it only went up to 97%. But keep in mind how much easier Eagle Eye is to use. You can use it at level one instead of level four. You can use it no matter what your innate color is, as opposed to just red. And it's cheaper, as if that really matters because I found so many as we've been going. So 99, um, I find it not useful at all because I have Eagle Eye which does essentially the same thing. It's not as guaranteed as 99 is, but it's so much more versatile that I don't want to constantly be thinking, I need a red party member so that I can use 99. I have Eagle Eye, it works so much better. That's why I think Eagle Eye is kind of overpowered. They didn't necessarily see the uh, end game of that, so. Just my thoughts. All right, info scope. Uh, once again, level six plus or minus two, it only affects a single foe, and you can only equip it if your innate color is green. Detects your opponent's HP data. Yeah, there's some good stuff here. I like the purify, the recover alls, the, the nostrums and the panaceas. When we start getting down here, it's like hit or miss. It really is. 99 is good, but we have something better. Info scope I don't necessarily care about. I guess I'll I'll buy one. Same with 99. I'll buy one. I got plenty of money. We'll buy one each. Uh, then we have Fizz Negate. Uh, once again, six plus or minus two, and you can only equip it if your innate color is yellow, and it temporarily nullifies foes' physical attacks. Now that is something that I care about. Uh, we're only gonna get one uh, because I feel like. It's really only useful. You know what, we'll get two. We'll get two. Because we can only have one party member that can really use it. Well, I'm only going to have one party member that can use it. I don't like stacking the colors. Uh, so uh, we're going to have one party member that uses it. What are the chances I wanna use it more than twice? I say that now and now I'm already picturing a long boss fight where I want to use it more than twice. But you know what? I, I'm not going to use it more than twice. Then we have Magnegate, which is essentially the same thing as Fizznegate, but it's uh, in a color white, and it'll nullify your foe's magic attacks. Uh, once again, I'm going to want to. And you can see some of my money starting to go away, but I'm okay with that. Uh, we have Genius, temporarily increase your magical power. Sure, I'll take one. We have Imbecile, uh, which decreases the foe's magical power. We've had that used against us every once in a while. We have Strong Minded, increase your magical defense. Sure. Uh, incre and, but it only works on one party member. I wish they, these worked on like the full party, and then they would be a lot better. And then we have weak-minded, decreases your foe's magical defense. Sure, we could stack that, do a massive amount of damage in a single hit, or we could just do damage normally. It works either way, it works either way. Uh, then we have magnify, uh, keep in mind, uh, keep in mind, I should say, <clears throat> if I spoke correctly, uh, it would heal, it would heal. Yeah, that was what it does. It will affect all foes and allies when we use magnify it'll increase the element damage by 1.5 that goes for what we use against them and what they use against us so essentially more damage being done both ways as a result i'm not that big of a fan of magnify but i can understand also why is there a timer here yes i've been playing for over 20 hours now uh, then we have Diminish, which does the exact opposite of Magnify. I don't have one. It would be nice to have one. Elemental damage, half. I, I do want one in case the enemy is constantly using powerful magics and I can focus on doing physical attacks. Let's say I use Eagle Eye, which I have been doing a lot. Then we have Seal All. Level six plus or minus two hits all foes and allies, and you can only equip it if your innate color is black. It temporarily stops everyone's elements. It has certain uses. 
certain uses, especially if the enemy is particularly strong against magic attacks and weak against physical attacks. Uh, but even then, I can find elements and texts that are physical based. Norris comes to mind, but uh, they they can be useful to see alongs, but uh, I only want one. I only want one. Uh, then there's revenge. Uh, you can only equip it if your innate color is black, which is already kind of bad, but hey, Lynx is black. Uh, it shifts your status effects onto your enemy. So let's say you're afflicted with something that you don't like, but for some reason is still not bad enough so you don't get a turn. You can then throw it on your enemy. Or you could just heal it. I prefer healing it, but I'll take one of those anyway. So some very nice elements in there. Some not so nice, but there, there's some good stuff there. I, I don't necessarily think I need to equip any of them. None of them are as good as Eagle Eye. What am I going to say? Thank you very much. May your voyage be blessed by the dragon's protection. Which dragon? There seems to be a lot of them. I've already encountered multiple dragons. You're travelers, aren't you? Have you heard? Have you guys heard about the star fragment? Star fragment? I can't say I've heard of that. Oh, I'm thinking star pendant. I'm like, isn't that's protection against poison? What game am I thinking of? That's Final Fantasy VII, isn't it? Star pendant, though, is what I'm thinking of. So, star fragment? What's that? The sea near Triplet Isles. Locals call it the El Nido Triangle. I've heard the term. In that area, you can find pretty star-shaped stones. That's why they're called star fragments. It doesn't have much value other than being pretty, but I believe it brings good luck to its bearer. That's why I'm carrying one around like this. Going off the subject, this El Nido Triangle is a strange place. You're telling me if you go a little underwater, there's a layer of air where you can actually walk around just like on land. You'll be surprised. You guys are definitely going for a Bermuda Triangle thing here, aren't you? They do say that there can be a lot of uh, methane gas, I believe, in trying to go either way though it's a very mysterious place and, and ships go underwater all the time planes too sometimes all right so what we actually came here for is back here do you remember there was a hidden passage back here this time we get a tablet so that was worth the journey really we came here for the elements though to be honest with you but uh nothing all that strange around here i would say Hey, look! It's Matcha! Oh, who might you be? One of Korch's friends? Strange, I don't recognize your faces. Hmm. I usually remember all of his friends who come around here, but well, if you can remember every character in this game, like, congrats to you. Granted, you live in the world, but still, there's a lot of people. Oh, well, no use wondering about such stuff. <laughs> It's a small house, but feel right at home. My son's upstairs if you need him. All right, let's go talk to other... What, what the hell happened here? Other Korcha. Huh? Who are you guys? Don't you go walking into other people's homes without permission. Huh? Serge. I don't know anybody by that name. Never mind. If there's nothing else, then get out of here. Yeah, he doesn't know Serge. Remember, Surge died 10 years ago. No, wait, this is Homeworld. Surge didn't die 10 years ago. We just haven't come up here to talk to him yet. It starts getting a little confusing about why certain people act certain ways around here. And then we can talk to the little old man here. Yeah, really gray hair. You're new around here, aren't you? Do you know what these wires are for? You don't know, I'll teach you for a special price. I already know. Do you really know? That's kind of fishy. Well, if you already know, that'll make things easier. So what's it gonna be? You're talking because you wanna do it, right? Nope. Ah, shucks. Call me when you do, though. We're we'll let down. We're not done around here. Plus, I wanna head over to the left, not back to the entrance of town. Should have gone the other way first. That way I could have taken the, the, the zip line down. Not that it necessarily matters all that much. Maybe we'll do that later. Uh, are we gonna find anybody here? There's a paper on the ground with some writing on it. Let's read it. I'm not in right now. If you need me for something, don't bother looking for me. Mel. No! Mel! She ran away from home! Maybe. 
Maybe she's happy and she's fine. She's just in her secret spot. She's got like a garden or something. Okay, I, w I was just kind of wandering around, but then I found something. What the hell is this over here? Is it like a finned octopus? It kind of looks like a lure. It, why is it so shiny? What the hell is that thing? All right, we're done. We're done here. I'm moving on. What the hell is that? It's either the biggest lure I've ever seen or it's some kind of weird shiny octopus thing that is shaped like a seal. I don't know what that is.